so excited to be here tonight. It is not every for-purpose organization that lasts 130 years, and it's going to last another 130 for sure. I proudly serve this board and the people that are part of this community and the people that are part of Felton. And I serve alongside an amazing group of people, my fellow board members. I'd love to have them stand, if you would, please. Let's give them a round of applause. It is an honor to serve along these folks that bring their passion and their commitment and uh, a lot of opinions and great ideas, um, but most of all their spirit to Felton, so thank you for everything that you do. We also have the honor of having some of our former board members with us tonight, and I would love to have them stand as well. Thank you for the legacy that you have left us, and I, we, we give it the care and feeding and stewardship um, that I hope would make you proud for the growth and continuation of Felton and the many programs. I also want to welcome the newest members of our family, and those are our San Francisco Suicide Prevention Advisory Board. Would those members also please stand up? I think we have a few of you. Thank you for representing San Francisco Suicide Prevention is um, an amazing group, an amazing organization. We're proud to have that as part of the Felton family. Thank you for representing that terrific organization and part of our merger earlier this year. I'm proud of many things in Felton. I'm proud of the many programs, and you got to hear about some of those tonight. I'm proud of the many lives that those programs touch, and I'm really proud of the growth that Felton has had over the many years. I've been on the board since 2006, and under um, the many visions of our CEOs and currently under the vision of Al, we have continued to grow, we've continued to expand our reach, and we continue to make a big difference in the communities in which we live and do business. But I'm probably most proud of the spirit of Felton. Because if you haven't picked up on a theme tonight, there's a lot about courage. Courage to tackle the smallest problems and the biggest problems. And to do it with optimism and compassion and a winning spirit. That's what Felton is about. I'm proud of the success and I am proud of the unrelenting determination with, with which this team tackles whatever is needed. There's never an idea that gets discounted. There's never an opportunity that goes by the wayside. It's always given consideration and love and a lot of optimism and can-do grit that comes with the work that Felton does on many, many levels. So thank you, Al. Thank you, Felton team. Thank you, board members, past, present, new ones. Thank you for all of our guests here tonight. We serve because of you. We serve because of this community that we love and we love to live in and we want to see it grow and prosper because all of us matter and all of the people that we serve matter. Thank you for being here tonight. It's a true honor. The services that we provide at the Family Developmental Center are really critical, are really core to families like myself. I was a single mom um, that you know, didn't, couldn't afford childcare. And so our primary goal is to serve families that are low income, that have, you know, don't have a lot of resources, and I was that in 1996. And so because of Family Developmental Center, I was able to pursue higher education, get a job, so I was able to be independent. Um, and it was really, really amazing. It was life-changing for me. Because I've lived the mission of this agency. I'm a success story, if you will, <laughs> um, of what services like the ones that FSA provides can do for a family and for an individual. So for me, um, what FSA does, it's just amazing. I've gone full circle. 
I was a client and recipient of the services um, of both the Family Developmental Center, the Hilltop Developmental Center, and TAP. And now, I'm overseeing these programs. And it's like, you know, so I connect with teens and I tell them, you know, because one of the programs, it's the TAP program that I oversee and I'm part of. Um, I connect with these teens and I share my story. Any opportunity that I have, I share my story because if they can see themselves in me, I've done my job. Good evening, Joanna Quiroz. And just like you saw in the video right now, that was my daughter at the Family Developmental Center. And I'm a graduate of the Hilltop High School. I was 16 and pregnant when I first got connected to Felton Institute. And as I think back about my own personal journey, I think about the clients that we're serving now. My story is not unique. There's a lot of young clients that we're serving that are in need of these resources. And the fact that I, was, I benefited from those resources, not just the case management component and all the wraparound services that Felton provides, but I also was able to attend, or my daughter was able to attend the Family Developmental Center, which provides early care and education services to low-income families like myself at 16. That's very powerful. It was life-changing. At a point in my life when I needed it the most, Felton was there for me. Now my daughter's a graduate of San Francisco State University. And so via their two generation approach, right, focusing on that one child that is getting ready to be school ready, and that family who is getting ready to make sense of life, right, at the age of 16, you're kind of figuring out your identity, who you are as a person, what your goal is in life. And getting connected to Felton as a client, I fell in love with the mission, not only because it transformed my life, but because it was transforming so many of my peers' lives as well. I got connected to Felton, started in the organization as the front desk receptionist in 1997. Currently, as you heard, I'm the Chief Operations Officer for Felton Institute, and I'm running the Children, Youth, and Family Division. And as if that wasn't enough, I'm also a second year doctoral student at San Francisco State University. Doctor in the making. And I share that because I think it's important to elevate the voices of our young people and make sure that we're providing opportunities for them, not just through services, community-based organizations and the work that we do to support them, but also supporting to uplift them and make sure that they're, they feel that they're seen. And so in my work with young people, as young as birth, to young people under 24, my job is to ensure that they see themselves in me because my story should not be unique. My story should be everybody's story. And the opportunities that we create for the, pe the young people that we're serving in this city are important to all of us, right? They're the ones that are gonna be here in the future, right? And so I think it's important to just continue to support these programs because not only has Felton changed my life, it changed my family's life. It changed completely the trajectory of my life. And I attribute a lot of my success to Felton, but I also attribute a lot of my success to my family who was there for me when I needed it the most, right? Family matters, and representation matters, and I think it's important to continue to support programs like Felton, uh, to continue to elevate and provide the opportunities for our young people. So thank you. Because of your support, Felton can do this work. Mm -hmm.